15 body parts disappearing slowly countdown from number 15 body hair body hair is used to protect humans from severe weather conditions but what about now when we have our cozy sweaters and leather jacket well apparently most hairs on the human body serve no function so it is very likely to get extinct in the future besides eyebrows perhaps they keep the sweat from her eyes and the male facial hair plays a significant role in attracting the opposite sex number 14 paranasal sinuses we have many front sinuses such as the frontal ethmoidal sphenoidal and maxillary sinuses in fact no one understands why we have these bothersome walled cavities that might be used to build the headliner most likely it isn't number 13 extrinsic ear muscles some animals rabbits and dogs for example can move their ears independently how does this happen thanks to these exotic sounding muscles also some gifted individuals can wiggle their ears don't envy them these serve no purpose there is just one fact this muscle reacts to a positive emotion so nobody understands why number 12 wisdom teeth why do our bodies have to grow wisdom teeth only to have them extracted later actually it's clear that early humans chewed plants to get enough calories to survive but today only about five percent of the population has a set of these number 11 neck rib it's a set of cervical ribs possibly a leftover from the age of reptiles they still appear in less than one percent of the population some people have such a rib only on their left or right side while some have both they often cause nerve and artery problems maybe that's the reason why most people who have them get them remove number 10 palmaris muscle it's a narrow muscle running from the elbow to the wrist once it was important for hanging and climbing it is already missing an 11 percent of humans today so it's a safe bet that with time it will disappear completely number nine male nipples in the early stages of fetal development an unborn child is effectively sexless or without gender best nipples are present in both males and females men generally lack the necessary levels of prolactin to stimulate lactation and so cannot produce milk number eight erector pili muscles this is a tiny muscle that attaches to the base of a hair follicle at one end and to dermal tissue on the other end in order to generate heat when the body is cold the erector pili muscles contract all at once causing the hair to stand up straight on the skin animal also uses these muscles to intimidate other animals number seven appendix this narrow muscular attached to the large intestine served its purpose many centuries ago it was a special area for digesting cellulose when the human diet consisted of more plants than animal food the appendix may inflame and lead to appendicitis which is serious and needs immediate operation number six 13th rib in humans is an extra rib that arises from the seventh cervical vertebra their presence is a congenital abnormality located above the normal first rib a cervical rib is estimated to occur in eight percent of adult number five coccyx is the final bone in the vertebral column that surrounds the spinal cord there are several muscles are attached to this point and it does help us support ourselves when we sit down and lean back however it's not vitally important number four third eyelid we humans retain a tiny fold in the inner corner of the eye it is what is left of membrane birds and mammals have had for protecting the eye and sweeping out debris at the same time providing visibility we don't need this function anymore most of us are wearing glasses so it's a high possibility that they will disappear with time number three darwin's point it is a small folded point of skin toward the top of each ear that is occasionally found in modern humans and many vulcans it may be a remnant of a larger shape that helps focus distance sounds nowadays less than 10 percent of people have this greeting from the past well with all the modern technologies used for enhancing hearing it's no wonder that is becoming extinct number two subclavius muscle this is a small muscle that stretches under the shoulder from the first trip to the collarbone it would be beneficial if humans were still walking on all fours it's not the case but some people still have one some have none and others have two number one toes humans used to walk and balance more in the middle of their feet according to scientists but we have gradually shifted more on this side of our big toe according to studies our center of balance is still shifting inward humans used to rely on their toes for balance but they no longer do if this trend continues we will no longer require our toes if you did enjoy our video please press the like button and subscribe thanks